So go ahead and stretch into a child's pose. Open up the legs, kind of let your forehead sink onto the mat. Um, feel your shoulders relax, feel your hips kind of heavy on your toes. Let your elbows rest. Become kind of aware of where your mind is going, um, what hurts in your body, what doesn't hurt, what you feel may need some stretching. Um, really give yourself this time to kind of try to quiet the mind um, and just prepare yourself uh, for this workout um, so that you are putting into the workout and also getting something from it. So just take a few moments and relax. I'm going to be quiet. Just really going to let myself breathe here. I'm going to let my hips relax on top of my heels. I'm going to let my shoulders relax. I'm going to breathe in through my diaphragm. Breathe out. In through my nose. Out through my mouth. I'm just going to relax. I'm going to press my fingertips into the mat. Stress out, stretch out my tricep. Stretch out my shoulders. Stretch out my quad. Feel the weight of my body resting on my calves. Couple more breaths. All right, come into table. Hopefully you've cleared your mind and really um, take some time here to feel where your palms are. Um, are. Are your knuckles pressing into the mat? Are your shoulders over your wrists? Are you in a good tabletop position? And I want you, um, I kind of want you to rotate your biceps forward, spiral them forward, rotate them back, spiral them forward, rotate them back. We're going to spiral forward. Inhale, cow. Tilt your tailbone up. Look at, look to the sky as you inhale. Spiral those biceps forward. Exhale. Come into cat. Hollow out the belly. Round the tailbone. Really try to take your belly button into your navel. Spiral those biceps back. Inhale. Rotate them forward. Look up slowly. Curve that tailbone. Inhale. Exhale, rotate the shoulders, rotate the biceps back, hollow out your belly. Really try to bring that navel into your spine. I want you to curl the toes, come up onto the toes, and I want you to hover your shins. Inhale. Cow. Same motion, same movements here. Spiral the biceps forward, open up the shoulders, tuck the tailbone in. Exhale. Same thing. Pull the belly button into the nail. The uh, the navel into the spine. I want you to round the tailbone, round the back. Inhale. Exhale. Think about those feet. Think about that toe flexibility. Think about engaging your core as you hover those shins. Inhale. Turn the tailbone up. Look up to the sky. Exhale. Tuck the navel into the spine. Round out. Round your tailbone. Inhale. All right. Now I want you to step into down dog. Um, really push those ears in between those shoulders. Create the picture frame. And get those heels as flat on the floor as you can. Really feel the stretch all down the back of the leg. Push back, push back, push back. I want you to pedal the feet slowly. Kind of walk your dog out. Pedal the feet. Just kind of pedal. See how deep into that stretch you can sink while keeping those ears pushed in between those arms. All right, I kind of want you to start pedaling your hips now, moving your shoulders, kind of stretch out your body. Feel where your alignment's at. Pedal the feet, walk your dog. All right, now I want you to come to the outside edge of your left foot. Reach back, really stretch out the shoulders, stretch out the hip. Rotate on the balls of your feet on the other side of the right foot. Sink back, stretch it out. Come back into down dog, push back, take your right foot and put it over your left and push back into the quad of that left leg. Feel the stretch in the right leg even more. I want you to take it back to down dog, do the same thing with your left foot. Kind of make a square 
Really push against that squat, feel the stretch even more. Come back into down dog, push all the way into down dog. What I want you to do now is I just want you to hover the shins. So you're not changing anything about your shoulder alignment or your hands are out, but you're hovering the shins. All right, we're just gonna stay here. Let's really engage that core. Your shoulders should be feeling it a little bit. They should be feeling a little fatigued. Inhale, exhale. We're here for five, four, three, two. Really feel the heat building in that quad. One. All right, I want you to take your right leg up and away. I want you to bend it. I want you to open up the hip. I want you to come back down into that hovering down dog. Just hover the shins, hover the shins. This way you're not totally resting in that down dog position. Your, your body is still actively engaged. The heat is building in your quad. It's a bit of a rest. Float that right leg. Bend the knee. Open up the hip. Take it back. Hover the shins. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Send the right leg up. Bend. Open up the hip. Take it back up. Hover the shins. This time I want you to take the right leg up. I want you to come forward, put that knee in between those hands and we're gonna kind of make a, we're gonna make a square. So if they take the right knee over to the left elbow, follow the forearm down, take it over the right arm, come up. We're gonna do that two more times. Just make a big square, two, three, down, to the right and up. Send it back up and away. Come down, hover the shins. Take a few deep breaths here. Inhale. We're here for five, four, three. Feel free to take a child's pose if and when you need it. Two, one, send the right leg up. And I want you to walk it forward the outside of that right hand. Really get into a good lunge here. I want you to drop the back left knee, reach up, plant your right, plant your left hand, reach back, grab the left foot with the right hand, the top of the foot, really sink into the stretch. Sink the hips out, there. sink the hips towards the floor. Let gravity work for you here and let the right knee open up towards the right wall. If you really want to take it to the next level, don't do this if you're not ready, come to your forearm and really get deep in the stretch, open up the hips, really let that right knee lean towards the right wall. Inhale, exhale, really stretch out those, ship, those hips, sorry, kind of trying to feel it out here. And we're gonna come back up onto the mat, we're gonna reach back into half split. So kind of sink back, inhale, lengthen, exhale, folding forward. Grab the shin, inhale, lengthen, exhale, folding forward. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, folding forward. With each inhale, exhale, you should feel um, the tightness along that bat leg go away and you should be able to sink deeper into the stretch. Stay here for a few breaths, inhale. Come back up onto the mat. I want you to stretch back into plank, spiral the biceps forward. I want you to come down into chaturanga, a strong chaturanga, up dog. I want, I want you to push back into that hovering down dog. We're not gonna quite go into the down dog. We're gonna stay here for five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna do the same thing on the left side. So send that left foot up and away. Bend at the knee, open up the hip. Straighten it, come into hovering down dog. Inhale, exhale, send the left leg up. Bend at the knee, open up the hip, flex the foot, rotate the foot, bring it down, hovering down dog. Really feel yourself gaining strength from the core and the heat building in the quad. Send the left leg up. Bend it, bend your leg, open up the hip. Come back.
back, hover the shins. Inhale, exhale. This time, send that left foot up. Come forward. And this time, we're going to do reverse square. So we're going to take that left knee over the right elbow. Trace the forearm. Come back to the left wrist. Come up to the left elbow. Over the right elbow, down to the right wrist. Over the left wrist, and up. Last one, and out. Send your leg away. Come back to the floating down dog. Inhale, exhale. We're here for five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, I want you to float that left leg, and I want you to gracefully bring it to the right side, the left side of your left hand. I want you to drop that back right knee. Plant the right arm, reach back and grab the back right, top of the back right foot with your left hand. Sink into the stretch, let gravity work for you. This time, let the left knee open up towards the left wall. Come down to your forearm if you're ready. Really sink into the stretch, open up the hips even more. Open up the bowl of your pelvis. Let the left knee just open up towards the left wall. Take a deep breath. When you're ready, Plant the right, top of the right foot, come back into half split. Real, oh, I'm really tight on this side. Ooh, really tight, okay. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, folding forward. Let's stay here for a minute. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, folding forward. I'm gonna stay here for a minute, y'all, because I'm really tight down this side, and I want to give my I want to give that muscle a chance to relax um, before I continue. Bear with me here. All right, I want you to come back into that lunge. I want you to send that left foot back. Come into plank. Um, plank, make sure your shoulders are over your wrists, your biceps are rotated forward, your triceps are facing the back. I want you to come into a strong chaturanga. Rotate through to up dog. Go back into hovering, hover those shins for the down dog. I want you to stay here for a minute. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. I want you to push up into down dog, and I want you to jump, walk, or float <laughs> um, to standing if you can. So we're going to jump those feet in. How, see how quietly you can do it, because um, that really shows that you have control over the core. Yes, I will open it. Bring it up here. Inhale, flat back. Exhale. Reverse swan dive. Exhale. Inhale. I can open it. Bring it here, darling. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step back into plank. Again, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, hover the shins in down dog. Stay here for five. Okay, four, open. Three. No, that's brothers, darling. We'll wait, we gotta wait till he wakes up. Press up into down dog. See it? See how quietly you can float the hands up. I'm not going to open it, my darling. When brother wants to open it, we will open it, okay? Oh, brother. Jump the feet and hands. Inhale. Flat back. Exhale. Inhale. This time, let's bring our hands to heart center so I can collect my thoughts. Right now, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Fall forward. Reverse one eye. Come up. Exhale, hands to the mat, step, jump, or float back into plank. Make sure you're good pr the plank principles. Chaturanga, rotate through to up dog. Down dog with floating shins. Really push back into that tailbone. Engage the core. Push the, the belly, your navel into your spine. Really try to hollow out that belly. I'm going to push up into three-legged down dog. We're going to jump into chair. So 
So we're going to stay here in chair. Bring our hands to heart center. We're just going to stay here. Now I want you to take your left elbow, bring it to that right knee. I want you to open up. Give yourself some time to allow yourself to open up the chest. Your goal, I want your thumbs sort of in between, in the very center of your chest, um, in between our boobies, if I'm being honest here. Then I want you to come up onto the tippy toe of that left foot. Kind of feel where your balance is at. When the balance is there, I want you to take the left knee to the right shoulder. So lift it up and come down. Do it again. Lift it up. Bring it down. I want you to do it one more time. This time hold, 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 hold the balance. Send the foot back. Stay here. Slowly come into crescent. Warrior one. Hang on, let me, let me look at my notes here, I'm sorry. I want you to stay with that rotation. chest to your knee and come up. Take your chest to your knee and come up. Take your chest to your knee or your belly to your knee and come up. Kind of we're doing some one-legged squats and I want you to bring that leg back, come to chair. We're going to do the same thing this time on the left side. So I'm going to rotate towards you. So I want you to take that right elbow. I want you to open up to the left side. Give yourself some time here to really open up towards that left wall and bring those fingers in between your chest. I want you to come up onto the toe of that right foot. And when the balance is there, I want you to lift it, right knee to left elbow or bicep. Right knee to left bicep and down. Right knee to left bicep and down. Open up this time, right knee to right bicep, and I want you to stretch it back. I am actually going to turn this way because I'm not going to come behind me. Back, 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 back. Straighten the leg. Straighten the leg. Slowly lower it. Come to the floor. Stay in that twist towards the left wall. Really allow yourself to open up. I want you to bring your hands to the floor, and I want you to push up into warrior three. When the balance is there and the strength is there in the quad, feel the heat build in the quad. I want you to engage that muscle. I want you to bend, take the chest to the knee, and up. Bend, take the chest to the knee, come up. These are some one-legged squats with balance here. Bend, take your chest to the knee, and come up. I want you to come into chair pose. And this time I want you to come all the way down into a yogi squat or malasana as we call it, okay? So kind of give yourself, let's take our hands to heart center here. Inhale, exhale. Your feet should be rotated slightly out. Your weight should be back in the tailbone. Give yourself some space in between your legs to find your center. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. I gotta switch. So now that you've had a, you've had a bit, have had a bit of a rest, I want you to come back up into chair. I'm gonna face you for this one. And I want you to come under the balls of your feet for chair. I want you to put your ankles together. I want you to open up the hips, open up the shoulders, and I want you to come, go in and out. I want you to butterfly that chair. Really work the hip abductors and adductors. Feel the heat building in the squat. We're just gonna butterfly that chair, so open as quickly as you can, 
but maintain good form. Control in the core, control in the quads. Make sure you're still breathing. We really want to fatigue those quads. Like I said, this is a vinyasa, but I still like to sweat. I still like to strengthen those muscles. Just when you think you can't take it anymore, take it a few more times. All right, come to standing. Open up the feet and quickly sink into Malasana or Yogi Squat. Give yourself a few breaths here. Hands at heart center. Now what I want you to do is I want you to come to flat back and rotate the feet in as you come to flat back and then come back down to Yogi Squat. So we're gonna rotate the feet in, come up to flat back, and rotate the feet out, come down. Up and down, and up and down. I'm gonna give you a profile view here. We're just gonna do, these are really deep squats to really fatigue the quads even more. Make sure we're getting long and lean in the legs while building strength in the quads. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, flat back, exhale. Same principles apply. Pull that navel in as you draw in breath to the spine. Elongate the back, inhale, exhale. Try to do it with your hands out in front of you for an added balance challenge. Allow yourself to rest in Malasana, Yogi Swat. Now what I want you to do is I want you to bring the knees forward. I want you to come onto the balls of your feet. I want you to bring your hands to heart center. Allow yourself to breathe. Become aware of the heat that has built up in the quads. Breathe from the diaphragm. Inhale. Exhale. So now what I want you to do is I want you to drop back onto your heels. Send your hands forward. And allow yourself to feel that transfer of balance. I want you to come back up to your toes, hands at heart center. Exhale, transfer the balance. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Drop your weight into the heels, transfer the balance. Inhale, balance on the balls of the feet. Exhale, transfer the balance, engage the core. Inhale. Get tall, exhale, get little. Inhale, get tall, 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 tall. Feel the balance, feel the balance. Exhale, hands forward, sink your weight into the heels. Inhale, exhale, hands forward. Inhale. This time come to standing on your knees. Roll your shoulders back. Bring your hands to heart center, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Inhale, exhale. I want you to come back to table. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Really draw the navel into the spine. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. And I want you to sink back. And we're going to end the same way we started. There, well, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too long, was it? I just need a little something. Like I said before, I had to do my million float of laundry before I bleached the floor for the second and third time. Before the rascals woke up, before my daughter came again. Sorry for that little hiccup there. Sometimes when I interact with them, it kind of throws me. Yes, love. But you are done. Hopefully, um, your core was strengthened a bit. You kind of experience some new moves you, you may or may not have been familiar with and use some muscles you may or may not have used in a while. I for sure feel a lot of the heat that is built um, in the quads. Really, it's a yogi way of saying my quads are on fire right now. Um, I feel good, I'm sweating, I feel like I've engaged, I've exercised and engaged my core. I feel, I also feel stretched out, um, like I've kind of loosened up some of the kinks in the shoulders and the pod and uh, yeah. I'm ready to take what today has to get to us to bring me. Hopefully you are too. Oh. This is a part of the workout. I'm just kind of stretching here. Taking a few extra minutes before uh, 
the Lily monster comes up the stairs and brings me another toy or snapper. Who knows? Hey, my luck. You want pouch? <laughs> <laughs>